Good afternoon and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Isaac Walsh, and I'm here with Paul, the handsome one here, and we are on location live in Flint, Tomstone Island. How are we doing this morning? Man, I'm living a dream. How about you? See, this is your dream. I look at this as a nightmare. We are being stared at by lots of people, and I gotta say, it's weird. Please don't touch my stuff. But the coffee is come on, delicious. Come on, you'll be all right. You will be all right. Yeah, we're gonna make it. How was your week? Anything you know, my week exciting? was full of automotive issues. Automotive issues. Automotive issues. Like car issues. Oh, amber. Yeah, no, Amber and the Mazda were both down. And what are you uh, doing to these cars? I'm I'm having help. I'm having help uh, messing them up. I really am. Are you? Yeah. It's not just you, it's it's practiced by others? You know, it's my fault. I did not tell my wife to not drive the car. Oh. I did tell her that I was waiting for parts. How does that work when you tell your wife not to do something? I just asking for a friend. But I didn't. I didn't. So you didn't say it, that? No, I did not say that. So it's totally my fault that she got in the car and the front wheel fell off. Fell off. O-F-F. Off. -F. off. 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 Hold on, hold on. She was driving and the wheel fell off the car. What part of off? And I'm just fall. getting the mental picture. That's the mental picture. She's oh, F. Driving down Corona Road. My entire life that's never happened to me, so I just want to be crystal clear. The whole thing said never mind and just gave up. Okay? Oh, my God. So she was not going fast. Uh, no, she actually just pulled out onto the road. She just pulled out out of the BP gas station and the front right tire. Oh, my Axle, yes. control arm, all that stuff. Gone. Why? Why? Even better question. Okay, so here's the deal. About a week ago, okay, I'm driving down the road and there's a, a black spot on the road that looks like oil. All right. And when I get to it, my car kind of slides to the right. Your car and slides, the, slides okay. to the right. And I say, oh, that's dangerous. You yeah. know what I mean? I said, something's got to be going on my alignment, but I got a call. So I called 911 and told them about this black patch of oil on Dort Highway. Okay. Two days later, I'm going down Saginaw Street, and my stuff does the same thing again. Mm. And I'm like, ooh, maybe that wasn't a patch of oil. Yeah. <laughs> and I've dispatched, you know, the, the county down here <coughs> for no reason whatsoever. I, I, to a pothole. <laughs> so to make a long story short, I oh take it to my mechanic. Yeah. They tell me that the arm is busted and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I pull out of there, and now it's clunking. Conk. Mm -hmm. Every time I hit a pothole, conk. Yeah, yeah. So park it in the driveway, order the parts, and while Didn't I'm tell the gone, wife. she gets in it to go up to the store. Throws a hard left, and it's over. It's outstanding. It's over. Well, that sounds great. You asked about my week. I did. How and, about and yours? by great, I mean not great. <laughs> oh, doctor's appointments, pain, yada, yada. A lot of productive stuff, though, with the community, Celebrate Recovery, UAW. Uh -huh. We did, we did a bunch of stuff. Silverfest was great. Always How, no partner with was them. Was it a lot of folks or what? About 3,500, I think. 3,500. That's great. Well, it was, it was all right. I mean, we've had over five the last few years. So really? Down pinch, but 3,500 is awesome. Okay. Uh, UK and finished second in the softball thing. They're doing their golf outing with the Tigers uh, this next weekend okay. on uh, Sunday or on Monday. So UK and partnered with the Detroit Tigers and they're going out and doing the golfing thing. And, Somewhere, Atlas, something or another, you know, okay. Steak and Swanson and all the big wigs and doing the stuff, so that'll be good. Well, that was good, but uh, since you said you want to do some top 10 things, we were calling this this political season and everything is so stressed, we thought that we would get some good political impersonations for you, and I found some and I sent them to you. Now, I'm, I tried to pull these off here, so. Here we go. This I'll, try, is, I'll try it. I got I got one here. Godfrey, uh, Trump, and Obama. Is that the one? Wait, yeah, it's, it's still that's spinning. That's the last off. one. There should be two before that. All right. That one's spinning. This one's spinning. Oh, wait. Godfrey uh, came up. Let's see. So right he right does Obama, Obama and Trump. Oh. Put it up there. All right. Let me back it up. I think it's very good. I love ribs, <laughs> depending on who's making it. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue spicy is my favorite. <laughs> Do you pause more than most people? Uh, 
not really. <laughs> <laughs> he does the extended call. That's why he's a bad president. Dude, he's Trump and Obama's pretty solid. I should just go like this. That was pretty good. So he was doing, uh, what was that guy's name again? Godfrey. So Godfrey, it's a young black guy, and he did his Obama is absolutely on point. And his Trump is okay. The fact that it was hot sauce made it funnier. And then, uh, uh, so you guys can check them out. That was on the shorts reel on YouTube. And then, uh, here's, here's a Trump when this redneck is going at it right here. Point the camera this way, and they'll be able to see it too. Yeah, yeah. Let's, here we go. Thirty-four counts. Nobody's done it. Nobody can do it. Nobody can do it. Thirty-four. It's never been done. We're, our numbers are so big. These are big numbers. Thirty-four. This is really good. El Chapo couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Twenty-two times. What a failure. <laughs> Guilty on 22 counts, I said, what an amateur, 34, no, no, no. Al Capone couldn't do it, 27 counts, which is really beginner stuff, that's beginner stuff, he couldn't do it, a Zodiac killer, can you believe this, nine counts, I go, this is it, what is this, amateur, I don't know, nine counts, the Zodiac, I call him the Zodiac loser, that's what I call him. we're going to jail so quick and so strong, and nobody's going this quick, two days, we'll be there in two days, we're making yeah. felonies Only great again. Counts. Found guilty of 34 felonies, right? Oh, hell twisted. Oh, now, this dude right here is super funny, and it's uh, T.Y. the Fish, I-S-F-I-S-C-H, if you want to check him out. And he just looks like your regular redneck that just got done hanging out with Jack, uh, Jeff Foxworthy getting ready to go fishing. Okay, okay, I'm done but with that. But he, his, dude, when he breathes in, he's like... With that Trump there. <laughs> Zodiac, only nine. What a loser. That's a pretty good impression, would you think? I think so. I think so. I, you, you, got a, you got a lurker behind you. Let's see if he wants to say hello for a second. We got a lurker. You got a lurker. No lurking. You see him in the corner? I do. I, well, I just see red boots. That's all I see. I can't tell if it's... Uh-oh. Oh, it's Peter. It was Peter. Oh, he checked you riding in Pete. on him. He saw me coming. Whoa. He saw me. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little Party too close, yeah. huh? <laughs> Anyways, so the political stuff got pretty hot, and then uh, um, and then all the stuff that came out with Kamala and Trump and yada, 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 and the assassination. It's just been hot. I feel like the impersonations are pretty pretty solid this year. So I got. I guess I got to ask you a personal question. You know, I haven't seen a Hillary impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Has the assassination attempt changed your mind in any way, shape, or form on what you're going to do during the election? Let me tell you something. If you've ever been shot at before, the response to stand up while you can still have a chance to get shot is balls. What? It's just balls. And I'm sorry. With the American flag, to stand that shot. Up. Yeah, and when he said fight, he lifted his fist up. Yeah. I, well, Man, that's, that's America. Hashtag like, America. Like I'm just saying. That that shot right there, you can say whatever you want about him. The man's got stones. He's absolutely got stones to do that. Could, because that three foot thing, that's all bulletproof. And he's supposed to stay behind that till they pick him up and move him. They picked him up, and that's when he put the fight sign up. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but still, it was just, they didn't know if there was no They, they didn't they know did what it. was going The right. whole thing is crazy. Okay. And I just, like, I, I respect the accent. It tells me about his character as a person. Like, I I don't like some of the things that he says and does, but as far as a person that believes in what he's doing, he's, got, he's willing to stand for it and fight for it. Right. And die for it. I respect that. Absolutely without question. As an American when you when you volunteer to go in the military, you're doing the same thing. So it's nice to see. So do you think it strengthened uh, more people's resolve to, to, to vote for him or are they just more mad at the I mean the kid was not sent by any special group, right? He was just uh, I don't know. Fanatic. Information's still coming out. Apparently he worked for Black BlackRock was in a commercial. BlackRock? Yeah, the, not the restaurant, the, the group. Okay, Blackheart. I don't know. I just know that he was in a commercial. And there was a video of him saying he was in the CIA. Information's still coming. 
And uh, who knows? I, I, it's hard for me to believe that they beat a 20-year-old beat the most sophisticated force in the world of the Secret Service, protecting one of the most protected people in the world. That just sounds like horse. Amazing. It sounds like both Amazing. with a ladder so, and a yeah, and a right. snorkel Listen, I was and a bubble gun. You know what I mean? It's it's like this is like made up. It's not even real world. I was in DC for the Million Man March. Okay. And they had snipers. Yeah. Positioned on right. all the rooftops. Yeah. All the way around. But the hey, mall. look over there. The one building you can get a perfect shot from. But we're not gonna stand there. There. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Here's a conversation. You ever had a conversation with somebody and you finished and you were dumber? So that's what, what does that make? Was, so does that make you sound like a conspiracy? Is there a conspiracy out there? I haven't been listening to mainstream media, so I don't know what the left and or the right is saying. I guess it comes down to a couple of questions. I'm just glad he was a white boy, a dorky light white boy. That's all. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing: is you're telling me a 20-year-old that went to a shooting class and got kicked out because he was that bad was able to beat the mo one of the most sophisticated services on the planet. I'm sorry. I don't oh, believe dude. that. See, I'm seeing this montage in my head right now. Do you see he the gets, pictures of that kid? He, he, well, he, he needed get, a sandwich. Right, but he gets kicked out of the class and he says, I'll show you. And now every day he's For shooting. For four years squirrels. he's shooting. Every day, every day getting and then he misses knocking the out shot. birds. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that video of Trump like two days later? No, which he, one? He's putting and he makes a putt from like 12 feet out and he's like, that's the difference between me and the shooter, I don't miss. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh, it was just, I don't know, dude, it's crazy. And it was, I don't know, I, anyone that stands up and is willing to die for what they believe, and I respect that to a certain degree because that means you're committed. Do you that's think it. that's what he was doing? I think so. I think he was trying to get the hell out of there. I don't think that's he was, why he stayed. That's why he. Paused that's why he the, stayed. That's said, why like, he paused the Secret Service from dragging his butt off the stage. Because he because he wanted Hold to get out of minute. there. I got a PR shot here. Give me a minute. Really, in mid being shot at, he 100%. says. Do you really think he's that intelligent? A hundred percent. You do. A hundred. I got to take advantage of this. So then, when he that's what it wasn't just a response. It could have been. It could have been a natural response. I don't think so. I think it was. Wait a minute. I do because your adrenaline's kicking. Like whatever you are in that moment when your life is threatened, you are that thing. Whatever that is. And when that happens, and he realized he was shot. Remember, he grabbed his ear, he went down. That's right? who he is. The one that grabbed his ear and went down. That's what he's That's supposed, what to, he's do. supposed yeah. to do. Then they grabbed him and picked him up to carry him And then him, him to off. stop and say, fight, you think it's calculated. I disagree with you. I don't think, I think it was a reaction. Well, he could have said something better. Really? Should have been something religious. Here's, it should have okay, been. First of all, God your America. response is, I think, in the middle of being shot, you should have thought about this a little bit more. <laughs> he should have already had a contingency plan. The we way got a contingency plan for these, everything. Like, so, uh, you know, Tuesday there's a PR in the briefing, moment after being shot. Exactly. Listen. At the, at the briefing on Tuesday, <laughs> they said, now... <laughs> Don, just in case you get shot, what you gonna say? Yeah, yeah, because that's part of the brief. Paul, please. Oh my God, dude, what is no for two hundred? Give the man, like, like, give the man at least the respect of saying in the moment he stood in battle. That takes courage. I give him that. You like or dislike the guy, and I will say this: it's really hard not to look at that and feel very uh, proud as an American to say we still have the gumption. You know what I mean? Well, I tell and you, that I just found, exists. I, I, the other day, I saw now the if that's best a PR thing, whatever. Ever. Here we go. Best Trump sign ever. Best. On top of a trailer, strapped down with, uh, I'm sorry, not, not that kind of trailer. Not, not a living trailer. Oh, oh, sorry. I was like, of course you went there. A pull trailer. Uh -huh. Make it easy to move around. Oh, a pull trailer. trailer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it said, Trump 2024, he may be an asshole, but he's our asshole. Oh. Oh, wait, let me get a camera shot on you, get a reaction. And now. go. I... <laughs>
Okay. I don't know. I know. I know this. I know Kamala has some really good prison reform policies for California. Okay. I know Trump gave fifty billion dollars to black colleges. I know we weren't in war. Fifty billion? Yeah. When no. he was in office. Look it up. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, not personally. That uh, Obama yeah, yeah. started. Yeah, yeah. Didn't stop. Go yeah. ahead. So. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just looking at what it says, and we weren't in war, which is good. He's, you know. What? What part are we weren't at war? Where he was trying. We were only in the Afghan war, and there it was being backed down, right? We didn't have an American killed for 18 months. But that was a positive. As far as this rest of this stuff that goes, like I said, Kamala has good prison reform. You know, coming up as an attorney, she's intelligent, she's smart. Do you know what her prison reform is? Is it going to stop the as... corporate prisons from, you know, if they have to make a profit? See, there's two there's two sides of information on there. There's corporate prisons, and then there was, she arrested more black people for drugs than anyone else in the history of the state. So. Prosecuted or put and in then, jail. And then left them in there longer. So there was those things. And I don't know. In corporate prisons is a thing. So how does she control that? The, the minimums are set by the state, right? Well, and if they're the if they're set to be, uh, if they think that they're going to be uh, an issue for the citizenship, they can extend it. Let's say they got in a fight in jail or after, or prison. Oh, well, you extend your sentence. Right, but if I if I got caught with 20 kilos of cocaine, she goes to the book and it says, all right, 20 uh, cocaine and 15 to 30 years. Yeah, and she was giving good. everybody the 30. Or she, I mean, she's not the judge, so she doesn't give anybody anything. No, she's the one that requested. Okay. So, but, but she be like requesting these are just it, the facts. But wouldn't she be requesting it for the people that on the other side to protect her people? You know what I mean? Well, her do you think that? Do you think that? Is requesting uh, that you get thirty uh, Prosecutors will do things to make themselves look good and of course, of course. and pad their stats and going after people that you know, know that you're going to convict because they have drug possession possibly. and you I make mean, a career on that. I bet you could. I'm just saying. I, I don't know if that's what happened. I wish she wouldn't be the first. Dude, you along I mean? with. I'm just saying, but at least she put in the prison reform. Like job re entry, jail re entry. That, that, that stuff matters. I, I don't so have. So, how did she put that? I don't understand how, as the prosecuting attorney or the well, attorney see, general. Well, she built a reform for it. So, she made laws that yeah, she request. gave to her well, Congress people to get passed. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, in California, general, you don't you'd have, have to ask Willie. He would know. Willie would know. <laughs> oh, Willie. He was, he was the biggest Democrat in California forever, man. 30 plus years, right? Oh, Willie. <clears throat> I am not going to comment. Because when you say Willie, I think Willie Lynch. And you're talking about some other Willie. He must be a congressman or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's one of the biggest in San Francisco. She dated him for, for a while. Oh, you know more. Like I said, you know more about her than I do. I just try to pay in, informed. I don't. I don't want to judge a person on either so, side. I just want to look at their content and character. So if I could ask, and you can tell, what is your source? What What, what are you listening to? What the are you Google. <laughs> My source is the Google, and it has everything: WAPO, CNN, Fox News, ABC, MSNBC, like private. I I don't so try to not, take information it's not true, from. So it's not true social. No, 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 man. It's 10, 12. I don't have a side. I just am an information person. I want to understand the information, same as you. And I want to know who the person is. And I don't really care who they slept with, or, or if you don't like their food, or their hair color, or their skin color, or their their party. I want to know what the content of the character is. And so, so what's the deal? With I think this, it's most Americans. Right? What's this the deal about Kamala not being black? Is that just a non-issue? I mean, if she's saying that she was and she's Hindu and Indian, then just be an Indian. Like she, in, in, in senator, she was the first Indian senator. Before that, she was the first Indian attorney general. My which first is great. question is: is we're in a time and place where people are are, are identifying as fire hydrants and are identifying and, and, and coyotes. So as coyotes. Yeah. So now, yeah. if this woman wants to identify as a black female. Yeah. Who's to tell her she's not? It's just a slippery slope. Why would it? Why can't you identify as a... Because if you're willing to change your identity for who you are at any time for any purpose, just for self-fulfillment, 
No, it sounds like... That's a content of character thing. It sounds like it's more of a... Remember what we did to Obama and his driver's license and his birth certificate? We're going to have to do the same thing to this lady. What was that again? The Hawaiian yeah, birth certificate? Yeah, the Hawaiian thing. birth certificate. And he's not oh, American that was your boy citizen. Trump, right? Exactly. He was behind all that. So I'm thinking that that's, they're just trying to maneuver that kind of uh, distraction. I don't know. I'm just, people that use uh, race should it matter? as a way to get them to vote for him, I think is ridiculous. Content and character and action. Should it matter? Like she's, oh, been so, in, so you, okay. she's been in politics for how long? A while. long time. Right? A while. Since she was 30, and she's 50 something, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, what's her, uh, what's her line? What she's done? Do you know? Well, again, she's like attorney know. stuff. Yeah. And unless you're in California you're voting for the prosecuting attorney, you're not going to know. Her She's very, record. very, very liberal. I hadn't been impressed no. with the uh, clips that I had seen. Somebody explained the time that was doing before the from the times of Ben. She said it 25 times. What does that freaking mean? What? Let's say it again. The times of before from the times of Ben. Are you for real? I'm thinking it's biblical. Biblical? Yeah, it sounds oh like some biblical mumbo, I mean, some biblical verse. I have no idea. I don't even know what it means. Type it in and see what Google says. I don't know what put Kamala time no, has been speech. No, just type the quote. Type the quote and see if it shows up. And while they do that, listen. Where's my camera? Okay, my camera's right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I see it. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, listen. While I got your attention and while he's looking God. that up, I want to encourage you to give us a call. 810-239-2901. Get involved. Public Access Television, Fact Channel 17, the place to be seen. Maybe your church is doing something. Maybe the school is doing a play. Maybe maybe you're videotaping your garden or, or you're, you're, you're taping yourself uh, replacing a transmission. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. Replacing a transmission. But if you're doing it, give us a call. 810-239-2901. That's... Fact, Channel 17, and of course we always, we're always, always, where is it? We are always looking for clean music. So if you got clean music, we want you, all right? You too, now, too. I you used too, too. to say, I, stop. I used to say if you could play it for your grandmother, <laughs> you can play it on the radio station. That's what but I used now. to say. <clears throat> but now I have to say if you couldn't play it for your great, great, great grandma, I can't use it, all right? Mm. I can't have no B's, no N's, no nothing, all right? No nothing. 810-259-9789. That's 810-259-9789. Yeah. We need you too, too. See, you're, you're ruining my end here. I'm not. Okay? I'm just pumping it up. I give you, you're ready for it? Listen, right. we are determined to make a difference, but we need you to, too. 810-259-9789. Am I done, Isaac? That's it. We're Am I back done? to the show. <laughs> All right, so here's what I got. You, What'd you find? You make this make sense because I don't get it. I can't. Maybe I'm just not smart enough. You ready? Ooh. As you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past but the future. Right. What? Okay. Did it stop? That, that's that, that, that's Emma. That didn't. That, that wasn't a problem. Everything she said was fine. We have to know where we exist in time and history. Do you think so? Yes. I'm trying. I'm trying to find the U22 speech. U2. <laughs> the U22 speech. That's, that's my speech. Right. She doesn't do a U22 speech. No, she does the time before, the time has passed, is then. That's what I wanted to hear. And I. I don't know how to find it. Uh, well, listen, while you're looking for it, I'm going to do a plug for Tom. All right? we got to thank Tom Tom's. for letting us um, uh, videotape here. We set oh, up yeah, this yeah. morning at Tom's Restaurant on Dork Highway. They are allowing us to, I guess, interfere with their business. Uh, 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 having fun. Having I got fun. it. The unburdened one. I had it. What? 
Here it is. It just doesn't make any sense. You tell me. All right, I'm listening. I'm listening. This understanding, this vision, to see what can be unburdened by what has been. Fair enough. Be unburdened by what has been. She said it in like 25 speeches. Okay. What, what has that been? Mean? Uh, Jim Crow. Uh, apartheid. Uh, slavery. Uh, um, what burden? Gerrymandering. These are all burdens. Unburdened by slavery? Is that what she's talking about? No, he says uh, compared to our burdens, we have to do something about this time. We have to right? unburden yes. what has been. All these things that have been used to burden citizens. I didn't do any of those things. There's no burden to carry. And no, you don't have a burden. The United States abolished slavery in 1866, and and we did that before most nations. And there's a lot of nations that still have it. But it was still so. What is there to unburden? It was still illegal for us to buy property. It was still illegal to live where we wanted. Yeah, but that was in 1866. So this is 2024. Government mandate. So so you inherited your grandmother's house. Hold on, no, I didn't. Okay, so but you could have. So, so here's the question. <laughs> that happened in 1866. We don't do that anymore. 1862. What? 1862. Thank you. So, then, oh no, it was as late as 1960 that these Jim Crow laws were in effect. Okay. Then the I still don't understand what has that got to do with the fact that those are done. She's talking about things are burdens. <coughs> Now, your burdens and my burdens are two different things. Okay. So your burdens could be picnic baskets or Easter bunnies. I don't know what your I burdens are. I love how you think it's flowery. That's good. I like that. I know what my burdens are. Yeah, go ahead. And a blind your car. man's burdens are different. Right, exactly. So understanding your burdens, we need to unburden them. We need to take those You things. need to unburden me from a burden I don't have. <laughs> that you perceive you have. I don't Whether think I have, have a burden. You don't have any burden. So I think they're saying that they think I have a burden, but I definitely don't. So no. I think you're lying to yourself. And lying to myself? A burden that, you know, a burden, my kids were burdens. To you? Fuck yeah. Oh, oops, I didn't mean that. <laughs> hey, man, uh, it's good for your great-grandmother for the show. Good to see you, Paul. All right, so. But they were the most wonderful burden that I've ever had. Okay. You see what I'm saying? No. I mean, I keeping them all. alive. I can't. Keeping my kids alive was a burden. No, I got that, but I don't see what, like, the thing that when someone says, oh, well, white people were racist in the 60s and before that has anything to do with me because I don't do those things. It doesn't. It, it, no, it does <coughs> not. So when someone tries to, it, to so when someone tries to attribute that to me, that makes no sense to me it's because I don't do it. We still live in an institutionalized civilization, whether you are a part of it or not. It affects. But us. most people that I know, and it was established like by, their race of something doesn't come into it. They just talk about what the person does. Like normally when they say, "Well, what do you do?" Oh, Paul does television radio. Oh, he's funny. Oh, he's he's down with politics. Defined by your actions, right? That's how I define people and things and how their actions are content. So when you don't work that way through race, color, creed, and you only work through the content of character, which some really Did you ever hear popular that? guy said one time <laughs> to this place. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways. And uh, that's how you work with things. When people keep hammering you and saying you're this way because they want you to be and you're not, it's annoying. Understand that she says we all have burdens. And we no, 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 she said burden specific. It just sounds annoying, brother. A burden. Believe me. We yeah. all have a burden. And which burden is it that you're not bringing up that you'd like to discuss so we can discuss it openly? Let's talk about it. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And we're talking. And is it your kids? Because I know my kids were a burden. And that's a wonderful burden. Well, that's not what she's talking about. I don't How do you know? I don't. Why would you jump to that conclusion? Because instead that's of what mine? you said. You said Jim Crow. You said. These are burdens. So we're talking about I'm that. I'm giving examples. Yeah. So we're talking about your well, burdens at your time. It could be I have no left toe, is my burden. You know what I mean? It could be that I, I, I can't whistle, is my burden. Your burden is you're not a whistler? I can't whistle! Your lips are. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're already out of time. I'm going to start Unless you want to go another half hour. Oh, no, we got 30 seconds. Is there anything you want to say? 
First of all, I felt like this was a good show. I didn't actually want to do this, but I was happy with the shot. You guys let us know what you think. Hopefully the background sound wasn't too bad. I can't imagine how, what you're going through. With all oh, dude, it's amazing. It's amazing. Dude, we'll sit out. We'll see you next time. All right, guys. Say goodbye. Peace. <laughs> all right. Good times. Good times.